This is a live broadcast tonight. It's the 6th of February, 2020. Uh, before anything else, uh, I'd like to say thank you to Yohan and uh, Mia. Thanks for coming over and for giving me the messages across. Diba? So I'd like to say that... Um, let's wait out for our friends. I am... Um, taping this conversation so that I can um, furnish this uh, as coming from yours truly because um, you know my inbox are filling up again and that uh, my phone is not has not stopped ringing so uh, I I might as well address these calls, these messages through this live broadcast. So, uh, isan lamang pong, uh, because I want to address myself to those uh, who have told me about, you know, yung updates, yung pinag-usapan namin sa Dole. So, um, it's going to be more effective if I can speak in Tagalog. Ito po yung, ano, mas mababaw na update reports. Hanggang ha to this day, I'm still addressing it. So, from all the legal talks there have been, isa-isa po, bawat company, inisa-isa namin, sino pong Clarissa talaga ang kausap nyo? Anong civil status niya na nakarecord dyan? Ano pong pangalan ng spouse niya? Kung siya po ay single, married, widow, sino po, ano pong pangalan ng spouse niya? Kasi it matters. It matters din po the assets that can be auctioned, yung pong pwedeng mga panggalingan ng um, income, pwede rin pong uh, sabihin natin the, whose responsibility it will be. That's why the distinction between personal loan and business loan. So before po kami magkita-kita sa ibang venue, uh, for example, abroad, dadaanan po namin ang previous issues and concerns and I'm speaking about the persons and companies who have received my written communication na may proof of delivery from the courier and bawat item po na nakalagay doon sa content ng letter pinag-uusapan na namin ngayon isa-isa um, hindi lang po ganun kabilis kasi syempre isinasabay din po lahat po naman busy so, thank you for um, saying about the, rem uh, the inaction na hindi, hanggang ngayon hindi pa rin po na, uh, nabibigyan ng action kung ano man po yung napag-usapan natin sa venue, sa, iba, i sa iba ibang venue kagaya rin sa Dole. So, from all the legal talks, there can be no other way to move forward. To move forward, except that, except to say that any work that I do from here on, and today is the 6th of February 2020, it's going to be leveraged from the part of the company, the second party, kung sino po yung kausap ko, pwedeng individual din po, sa part po ng regulator, this will be the LGUs and its different departments, pwede rin po sa banking sector, that's why Meron na po kaming um, written communication bukod pa doon sa uh, verbal communication with the banks and sa law enforcement. And the law enforcement can be Lucena PNP, the NBI, you know, bottom line. What is the acceptable mode of payment, the currency? So we now go to the part where it, it matters the commerce and trade, legal instrumentalities, the currency that will be proved to be, uh, the, the currency that is acceptable for everybody else. But in my case, if it's not going to be acceptable, um, hindi man po ngayon dumating yung explanation about the why. Down the line, um, it will come up. You know, the hearing for the question with regards why it's not acceptable, it will come. So, ako po ay sumusunod din lamang sa kung ano po yung uh, pinag-uutos. Like, number one, my option one, it didn't work out. 
So, number two options, it didn't work out. So, hanggang ang matira na lang po doon is the labor. The part wherein I have no other recourse but to render the labor that is asked of me. So, doon ko po masasabi that leverage siya because dumaan siya sa uh, iba ibang um, options which is acceptable sa business practice, commerce and trade. Kagaya po nung sanabi ko, nilinaw ko po yung policy ng local governments natin. The provincial, the city, nilinaw ko rin po ang civil status. Uh, kasi po dyan determine who is the next person in line where the, show, the, the, responsibility, the responsibility will be passed on. Assuming na merong incapacitated state and why is it incapacitated? So, down the line, uh, dadating po yun doon. Ang mahalaga po ngayon, pare-pareho tayong sumunod. And ako po, sumusunod din lamang ako. So, nililinaw ko, is this the only option I have? Is the, is the labor the only uh, option that someone like me with all my credentials, is it the only acceptable means to be able to um, fulfill my obligation. So, dumating na po tayo sa point na yon. So, that hindi pa balik-balik and pa iba-iba yung facts that will be appreciated, legally appreciated, policy appreciated in connection with me. So, to be differentiated from all personality and all legal status na meron sa iba, pwedeng kapangalan ko, pwedeng hindi. Pero, yon kasama po yon personal loan? Is it personal liability? Or is does it come uh, because of the operational or business uh, liabilities? So this is important because any incompetence will be addressed according to the legal precedence that um, for sure will be elevated at least to the DOJ and to either MTC or RTC. So, I will be there as a result po ng summon or subpoena. And from there, eto na po yung mangyayari. Uh, By this time po, my personality and legal identification at the DOJ should have the same entitlements from the Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines because um, I am also part of a universal fellowship of brotherhood and sisterhood in our faith, Jesus Christ, the fellowship. And so... The proper agency then will naturally go over their database. I am talking about the U.S. government to formally research about a person. Na interviewin po sa ten, eight o'clock ng morning sa U.S. Embassy about so about the next of kin. I will go there for the physical assessment of my person, my height, my fingerprints. Um, ano pa po ba yun? Uh, what else? I will be there. I will be able to represent myself. I will answer any question. I will um, come forward. Come forward with what I have to say. So the presumption of regularity and the related allegations will be up for review. At this time, um, there are enough lined up projects. So there can only be two. Uh, results out of the non-immigrant U.S. visa application. Either I'll get approved or I will be disapproved. Either way, uh, it's acceptable because at this time, there are enough lined up projects and alternatives to endure a negative response. You know, the worst case also for me right now is that there will be a small claim suit or BP-22, it's such a big deal. BP-22 is bouncing check. It's also a way for me to introduce the bank secrecy waiver, which is already the subject of my discussion with different banks. 
So, nililinaw na po kung sino yung personality na nagbigay ng bank secrecy waiver. It's very important. I will be able to introduce that within the Justice Department and the judicial framework while I sign on a negotiated restructured loan payments. I hope that there will be a collateria like, oh, the bank secrecy waiver that you have introduced, will be assessed, appreciated for validate or validated, validated. It's duly noted that you are, you are the one who had submitted it. So at least there will be a court transcript whereby the court has taken cognizant of the facts. And uh, since nag-uusap na po kami ng banko, the testimonies of the banks and the bank officers will also figure out in authenticating kasi before pa po dumating siya na ma-introduce ko ang waiver na yon nag-uusap naman na po kami so meron na pong um, identification and um, nasa-thresh out na yung mga concerns so I work and go back to the workforce bringing with me the process, the result of the process of elimination. I bring with me the result of the decision of the regulator na hindi payagan ang ilang operations ng business. Why? Uh, when I go back to the workforce, daladala ko din po yung resulta ng um, option number two na hindi rin pinayagan. Ako pa rin po yun. I am one and the same person. So, options three. Hanggang ang maiwa na lamang po na pwede ko na lang po palang gawin is uh, to exchange um, labor hours so that I will be able to fulfill my obligation. Meaning, um, everything will be consolidated under this proceeding where I will have to be physically summoned regularly. So, magkakaroon na po ako ng chance, you know, to be heard. Like how I am speaking with you, I will be able to um, explain and justify the courses of actions that I've taken, the words that I have used, the statements that I have issued. And, um, hindi po kasi um, Nasabi ko na rin po ito dati, the reason that I am um, complying with everything, whatever my personal feelings about it is, meron po kasing tamang panahon at tamang lugar upang ang mga karanasan, hindi lang po ako, pati yung mga naapektuhan because of this, to come up with a lasting solution so that um, since ngayon po, uh, nasa proseso ako na bawat isang pangyayari, nilaligan ko po ng documentation so that ito talaga yung tunay na nangyari. May mga signatures, may mga exchanges of communication, formal, written, uh, meron din po na verbal, over the phone. So lahat ng ito para po sa tamang venue, ma-thresh out siya. At kung nagkaroon man po, may, kung may kakulangan sa batas, para po uh, ma-address natin sa ating mga representante kung papaano mabibigyan ng action in our behalf. So, ang mahalaga po ngayon, sumunod. So, I know na hindi katanggap-tanggap ang ganito lalo na po sa mga nangangailangan. Ng, ano, um, so, that's why I really, really apologize because ako din po ay sumusunod sa kung ano man po yung um, decision, napag-desisyonan ng regulators, sumusunod din po ako sa mga takbo ng pangyayari na wala po tayong control at this time. That's why um, the most that I can do right now is to document what really is happening from my end so that uh, ma-address po natin kung merong dapat na um, remedy di ba? Kasi hindi po maganda na kung saan saan natin dalhin ang mga ganitong concerns. Lalo na lahat naman po tayo, kung privado tayo na mamamayan, may sarili-sarili po tayong problema. So, let's bring this up to the proper channel, to the proper quorum na may magagawang paraan. Para po, hindi na rin natin ikalat yung ano. Kasi one word of another person 
being passed to another. Naiiba na yung ano, naiiba yung context, naiiba yung version. Ay, biglang may nagwawala na, biglang may nagagalit na. Whereas, nag-i-explain lang naman pala. So, di ba, ganun. So, um, I'd like to say thank you to Yohan and Mia for bringing this up. And um, I just want to say that by the time that March 10, 2020 is upon us, some of the personalities and companies that would be affected by someone like me touching base with the U.S. homeland would have reached a formal communication from me through Skype. Skype po is... Um, May video, audio, overseas call, and then there's the certification. So the physical presence is just one of the paper trails being initiated at this time. So that even if hindi po ako mabigyan ng um, US visa at this time, tuloy-tuloy naman po yung communication with different parties in the US. Thank you so much for watching and rest assured that um, I am truly, truly uh, not stopping until I am, um, know, until we're squared, until I have honored my commitments and obligation to you. So thank you so much. This is yours truly, Clarissa Talaga. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Tita Nancy. Thank you.